It's date night. Get your shovel. I never really find a good sound effect of a guy getting hit in the head with a shovel. The Opie and Anthony Show. Using your hands. It's Presto Tainment. Afternoons, it's Opie and Anthony. Two to... It is Opie and Anthony. Hello, how are you guys? Hey. Thanks for joining us. There you go. Oh, and hey, yesterday my sister was listening to Z100, and they were talking about putting a Z-free money sticker on, on, on cars. <laughs> Z-free money sticker. And, and then they're like, if you have a sticker that says, wow, take it off because it won't get you anything. Oh, yeah. A wow, only, only boobs. A wow sticker will get you a lot more than a Z-free sticker. What losers. Z free sticker. A Z free money sticker. You think any? You, that is the stupidest thing. Do you think anyone wins money on those stupid bumper sticker radio station campaigns? That's why we did Wow. Yeah. It's It's a no brainer. It's it, people give you something, boobs, just for putting the sticker on there. It doesn't have to be uh, someone from the station let, driving around. Let me exp uh, explain something about radio. We'll we'll take down the curtain again here, Anthony. Yeah. A station like uh, Z100, okay? Mm -hmm. So they have these Z-free money stickers. Z-free money sticker, everybody. Get your sticker on. We're going to be giving you cash. So they're hoping to get maybe a couple thousand stickers out there. Mm -hmm. And they'll give prizes to maybe 10 to 20 people. Yeah. Tops. Yeah. I guarantee as we sit here on this fine Whip em Out Wednesday... That hundreds upon hundreds of people are seeing stuff on the highways boobs. because of our wow stickers. Won't get you nothing. You, you they, are, been... they are so jealous of our, our wow sticker campaign. Have you seen how many cars come in and out of this city? Have you seen the traffic? Do you know the numbers of cars that are driving on this road? What are the odds that you're going to stick a Z100 sticker on your car and someone from that station is going to see it? And what, like pull you over and give you money? Pull you over and give you Britney Spears tickets or There's something? There's a better chance of getting pulled over with a gun to your head and someone taking your car in this city than there is of, of you uh, getting uh, money. See, the WOW sticker is cool because uh, El, nah, well, Cause it's the potential of every girl with boobs is the one that's giving you the prize. Right. It, it doesn't have to be someone that works here. Instead of one prize van giving out money, we have Thousands and thousands. thousands of women that are willing to flash guys that have wow in their car. That's the beauty of it. And the only reason they're bringing <laughs> it up on that stupid station is because they are very, very jealous of mm -hmm. our bumper sticker campaign this yes. fine season. Because let's face it, wherever you go, you're seeing wow. Mm -hmm. You're seeing wow. Yeah. That's it. It doesn't have to. You don't have to bump into anybody except a woman with boobs. <laughs> they're giving away the prize. And, and, and uh, just to put it in perspective. Do you guys realize we ordered 150,000 brand new WOW stickers? Yeah. Guess how many we have left? Uh, how many? Practically none. Really? We're going to have to practically, reorder. Practically none. Well, I'm seeing them all over the place we're, now. We're, we're putting another rush order in to get more stickers because this is, this is how, uh, you know, how hot this damn WOW thing is. And I've seen a bunch of people with the homemade versions. We love the homemade version yeah. still. Still, I, 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 I'm very flattered when I see the, the homemade wows on the car. It's Whip Mount Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. Get the wow on your so car. So they can say whatever they want, but they're goddamn jealous of uh, this radio station, yeah. our show, and our listeners that are just going nuts over this wow thing. Yeah, get that wow off your car. Get the Z100 sticker on there. That'll get you something. We're paying you to listen to us. Z100. <laughs> 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 Speaking of ridiculous other radio station stuff, you see the new commercial with that uh, small Doan chick and, and uh, uh, Terry Gar yeah. for Light FM, I uh, guess it is. I joke with Sandy about Dude, it all the it time. It is the lamest if you're, crap. If you're, it, if you're uh, a radio guy, that's the biggest embarrassment in the world. Yeah. She, uh, uh, Terry Gar sitting there with that small Doan, I guess her name is. And, uh, and, and, and she says, uh, here's how easy it is. To uh, play the music and not talk, some kind of happy horse crap like that. And uh, she, Small Dome reaches over and pushes a button, doesn't say a word, and folds her arms. That's her monkey ass job. And shrugs. And shrugs. Yeah, like, she shrugs like, that's all I do. That's all I do. That's it. So I guess she was getting pissed. So now there's an ad where she actually talks. Uh huh. But she's like, and that was some, you know, crap band, insert crap band here, uh, on Light FM. 
and Terry Gar and her start talking. It just, I swear to God, when you see her and Terry Gar sitting in those seats, all you want to do is bust in the studio and spray them with banana juice. <laughs> I swear to God, I want to step on the console like a monkey in a cage and just spray them with banana juice. I'm over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Dice. That's your line. We know, we know. I could do the entire job. With a dildo in my mouth. Can I say that? I'm over here now. I know, Dice. We're... I'm small. What's her name? Val Va I'm Valerie Smaldone. I can do this entire job with a dildo in my mouth. Because I don't have to talk. I just have to press buttons. Where's Terry Gar? <laughs> oh, Terry Gar. She was hot for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Well, she's old now. Yeah. She's I guess. been around forever. She only needs one hand. I could diddle myself and seg songs with a dildo in my mouth. All I need is one arm. Our guest DJ today, Christopher Reeve. <laughs> and we don't even have to do anything different to the studio. He's just got to roll up to the console. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll do, I'll do another uh, visual impression. For you. <laughs> I love your visuals. Okay. So do the people. <laughs> it's good at the, uh, the audio impressions. Which is, which is very important if you're doing a radio show. I'm good at visuals, though. Yeah. All right, this is my impression of uh, Christopher Reeve. <laughs> Christopher Reeve. Uh, DJ in the show. Okay. <laughs> and, he has to hit, and he has to hit commercials. Right. Okay. Uh, wait, I need my seat lowered. <laughs> it's seat. a visual bit, of course. Yes. By the way, as we get uh, ready for the visual impression, that's as low as it goes. I need a. a oh. Is there another seat? Give me a stinky seat. Where's the short chair? If you want to get one of these wow stickers, uh, self addressed stamped envelope, uh, WNEW, 10th floor, 888 7th Avenue, New York, New York, 10106, attention wow sticker. I think that address is on the WNEW website. All right, Aunt, my visual of. Uh, my visual impression of uh, Christopher Reeve DJing. DJing. And let's say it's uh, Light FM. Okay. All right. Here he is, ready to go into a Celine song from from Spots. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need the Celine song. Okay. Where's the Celine song? Because, like, you know, because, like, when the music ends, you know, the, the jock has, has to do, to do the clever seg that you don't even notice at home. Right. They're pushing the button in between songs, and it's so smooth, so seamless, uh, you don't even notice. That's how you're supposed to do it. So, Opie, we'll do Christopher Reeve. As the stand-in DJ for Valerie Smaldone. Okay. Right, here, here's Celine Dion ending and Christopher ending. Reeve. Ending. Christopher at, Reeve. At Light FM. All right, Opie's wheeled up to the, uh, to the board, about chest high. All right. There's a song ending. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> eyes moving back and forth. He's looking troubled. And dead air. He's just sitting there, not moving. <laughs> that is just horrible, man. So, so I guess Christopher Reeve couldn't officially DJ Light FM. Valerie Smaldone is better than Christopher Reeve. Is what we're learning here, because if the song ended, he still wouldn't be able to do anything. She can push the button. All right, here it is. Now look. Oh, God, look at his eyes. He's, his eyes are looking very distressed, very troubled that he can't hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> You're horrible, man. Uh, thank you. Valerie Smaldone. Thank you, Anthony. Thank I could uh, diddle myself, have my hand on a big, giant uh, piece of man meat, uh, <laughs> have a dildo firmly emplaced in my mouth, and still play the songs and get approval from Terry Gar. Well, Ant, this is a first making fun of... Wax my crotch. This is a first making fun of other radio shows and other radio jocks, and, and they don't belong to our company. <laughs> this is good. God damn, we were gonna buy them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and before we end this break, yeah, if you ever see Anthony and I in dresses advertising for our show on TV, please drive up to the station and shoot us in the back of the head. <laughs> oh God, the uh, Scott, what is that, Scott and Todd? That is embarrassing. In dresses. How pathetic do you have to be that you're, you're going to be dressed in drag on TV to promote your stupid radio show? It's not yeah. worth it. It's not worth it. Just strap on the friggin' appliances and go at each other's butts. Ugh. <laughs> With the dress and then the big punchline is the, that they, they were just, what, dreaming or something? Whatever. What was that? I don't even know how it goes. And then one of them, Todd, is still wearing a dress. You can pretend you're, you're dreaming, but... 
You're on TV wearing dresses. Wearing dresses. And I hear that's like a big commercial all over the United States in different markets. Yeah, well, Like well, the Slappy and Wappy show in Phoenix well, does the same commercial. Yeah, for all you PLJ fans out there, you, uh, you know, if you are fans of the, their show, you're like, oh, wow, man, they're so creative. Look at their little, you know, TV commercial promoting their morning show. Yeah. No, that, see, that commercial's done all, all over the country. It's just different jocks and different... Uh, it's a formula different, commercial. Different dresses. It tested very well in our research, so we have it in all different markets. We just can't do the same spot in overlapping markets. God, and if Scott Shannon gets another facelift, he's going to have a you-know-what hanging from his chin. <laughs> a schlong. <laughs> I got a schlong hanging from my chin. There's a schlong. Look at this. I'm squeezing my sack on my neck. I'm like a big rooster. <laughs> why do you need why do you need so many facelifts if you're in radio? I look like Foghorn Leghorn with a scrotum on my chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh brother. All right, and we have to take a break. Yeah. We have a, a nice surprise for everyone right now. Mm -hmm. As Whip Em Out Wednesday continues. Uh we got some clips from our road show from last Thursday, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, some of the highlights were some of the guys performing their most offensive songs at. Yes. Uh, a lot of video clips, a lot of brand new video clips up on foundrymusic.com today. Uh, Steve got the clip of Stephen Lynch doing FBA up there. It's hilarious. With the additional uh, verses. It's amazing. A absolutely hilarious. www.foundrymusic.com. F-O-U-N-D-R-Y music.com. Okay? Right. But right now, here's our buddy, our pal. He's a rock star. Fuel. Live from our road show in front of about 2,000 people singing a song you all know and love. Mm -hmm. Baby Raper. The other inmates think I'm kind of sick Because of where I like to dip my stick Talk about the day I met that little hottie John Bonet, whose parents did kill her, by the way. I wish that they could somehow understand. This is hard. I'm just an average, ordinary man. Somehow they just can't seem to get Why Maggie Simpson always makes me wet Here come Baby Raper I'm a baby Raper So sweet and young They're good enough to eat Store. When mommy turns away, I go for more. Sing them songs, tell them that they're sweet. As I whip the little booties off their feet. So sweet and young, they're good enough to eat. Baby Raper, I'm a baby Raper. The youngest cherries always taste so sweet. Good enough to
Yes. Well, all right. What's the problem? Oh then? boy. What's the problem? What's the, the em- problem? The emperor is not happy with his coffee. Oh no. Are we gonna have to break into uh... Jim Norton? Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. Look at that cup. What, 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 what brand is on that cup? I don't know. Um, it doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Where do we get our coffee every day? I like Starbucks. I like Starbucks. And I don't like supporting the savages, savages. that run most of these delis. You're no, insane. Yup. You yep. betcha. You might be right. Yeah. Watch this. You want to taste this? <laughs> wow, that's really nice. What, what, what? Throw it against the wall. I'm not going to do I want Starbucks coffee. <laughs> you betcha. Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. I know Starbucks is a big world order type of thing. At least they're not funding terrorism. I was walking down the street and some construction guy was shouting at me. Hey, show me your cans. So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits look great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. (sighs) 